Hello, welcome to the new video from City and Case Brass. Today we're going to be doing uh, support videos. So this one in particular, it's an eco tank printer and the customer has put the wrong coloured ink, so they basically mixed one of the inks in here. So this this video is useful if you're basically if you've done that, if you've switched ink or if you've mixed inks. Or if you've got an eco tank printer and you want to switch all of the inks basically for a different type. So this particular eco tank printer, it's one of the ones with a refill cap in here. So they have a generic bottle that fits on top. Now you can't get your syringe and or needle in there to draw any of the ink out. There's no access to get in there. So with this style of eco tank. So you need to see which version you've got. Uh, and basically if you have a special bottle that's got a, a refill cap on top generally they are needed so for this particular model I can't guarantee it's going to be the same for all models but it's it's worth checking out so what we're going to do is we're going to remove a few screws from it uh, and then we're going to get inside the actual printer it's actually relatively quite straightforward to do so you have one screw here and then you have one over this side here to remove just those two to start so I'm going to take these off. So what I would do is I would, basically this lid pops off, I would put something here to prop it up. Let me just, uh, a bit unprepared there, so let me see if I've got anything, anything nearby to prop it up. Anything will do, that's it. So you can get clear access into there. So uh, for this one in particular, obviously you have all four of them. Now I only need to get access to one of them but obviously you will need to change all four so there's a couple of different ways of doing it you can actually remove this entire thing here so there's a clip here you can you can if you release that you can actually remove it that way so you could access it from the bottom here which is one way or you could disconnect the tube and access it from that way there I mean generally speaking you can do it both ways but but draining all the ink out of this one here it can take you quite a while especially if you've got 65 70 mil of ink in there so I'm gonna do it two ways I would put a bit of tissue down or something because you're gonna get some excess ink coming out so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I'm going to disconnect this one first because basically if I draw here out of here which I will have to do anyway with a 10 mil syringe I'm going to be here all day right so I'm just going to pull pull this one off the tube I'm going to place that on there now my first step basically probably not a good idea right so my put that there so my first step basically is going to I'm going to draw the ink from from the reservoir now what I recommend you don't do probably a good idea actually if I put some put some gloves on now, I'm not saying this is going to be clean Right, so with your syringe, now what I recommend you don't do is just don't go ramming the syringe into the end of that, into the end of the tube. Basically because the, the, the syringe here, it, it's quite thick and basically you could stretch the tube. So when you, when you put it back on or try and put it back onto, back onto here, it might be stretched and you'll have an air leak. So for this one I'm just going to use a small adapter uh, which which is just a bit narrower it's going to less likely to stretch the tube so I mean if you're one of our customers and you've done this by mistake you know and you're watching this video I've sent it to you quite happy you know to to send you some green nozzles no problem at all or if it's coming back to us we, we can take care of that right so so 
So I've not pushed it in too far because I don't want to stretch. Now I've kept that upright with one hand basically in case there's any excess ink in the tube I don't want it spilling around I mean don't get me wrong I've, I've done these before and have got a bit of ink anywhere but it's not it's not really going to do any damage So what I'm doing is I, there I was holding uh, I was holding the green nozzle at the bottom. When I'll I'll explain it to you. Right. So what I've done is I'm holding the green nozzle to pull it off rather than the syringe itself because if you pull the syringe possible that the nozzle will just come off the syringe and get ink everywhere so so what I'm going to do I'm just going to keep doing this until the reservoir is totally empty now obviously when we put the new ink in that there may be some trace issues of the previous colors in there so it might not be a hundred percent accurate but it's as close as it's going to be and eventually it will just flush through and dilute as you put the new ink in yeah so you can see there this is why I said yeah I'm not saying it's going to be clean, but what other choice do you have? Just take your time. Right. So I think we right, so I we're getting to the to the end now. You can tell by looking at the reservoir at the front, it's totally empty now. You can see the yellow one, and I can tell by the resistance. It, there's just resistance there and it's basically sucking on the internal valve inside here so I've reached that point where it's empty okay so I'm just gonna wipe the tube and clean up I, I knew I'd spill a bit. I was hoping I wouldn't, but at the end of the day, there's no point showing something, uh, showing something to be all ultra clean. That's not what realistically what what may happen. Yeah. So I don't tend to edit the videos. Right. So we've done that bit. That bit's done. Now we still have the ink within here. The main bit's done. So I'm going to draw draw this out. So. Again, green nozzle is going to be needed for this, right? So, So it's going to be really hard to, to actually show you that it's physically empty. I mean, if I turn it on its, on its side there, you can see somewhat the air in there, that it's empty. Uh, 
I, I'm not getting any. I'm not getting any more out of that. Right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to reconnect this, and I, I didn't realise you can't see the bottle of ink uh, on the video, but basically I've got I've got a bottle of ink here that I've been putting all the ink in. I, I think it's out of screenshot. Right, so I'm going to connect. Now this is why I said don't overstretch this cable here by running a syringing because it, it's it's got to be an airtight seal on on here. And then I'm going to click it into place. So you will have to repeat that process for all four of the colours. I mean, obviously, if you've just mixed up one colour, then then you've only got to do that one. If you want, or more, it depends what what situation you you need to do this. If it's change all of the inks, then you're going to have to do this. Now, obviously, at the moment, there's a couple of things. Uh, there's a couple of issues that we have at the moment. So one is that this here is is basically empty so you will need to run some head cleans to fill that back back up again the other thing i'd recommend as well is for the color that you've changed or or the if especially if it's been a mixed one i would print off a sheet of 100 percent coverage of that color so basically if it's the black i will be telling the customer now to print off some sheets a4 on this particular model 100% coverage on a high quality setting so photo paper glossy high or a matte high and then basically it's just gonna you bring some of the ink through and, and flush out all the old stuff so again you'll need to run some head cleans and get an okay nozzle check and then when you've done that just print a few sheets high quality uh, with the settings that I've recommended so that's it we've done so I will do that I will advise the customer that they need to do that in this situation. Now, what I haven't shown here, which is pretty straightforward, is that I'm going to top up with the with the new ink. Now, you already know how to top up with the new ink. There's no point in me showing that to you. So that bit's done, actually. So it's not as bad as it, it first seems. So, again, I'm going to take this out, put this back in, and then what we're going to do is... We're going to put the screws back in. That's one. So just remember, be prepared. So tissue, syringe, nozzles, uh, nozzle adapters. You can get them from eBay or Amazon or, or wherever. Just look for nozzle adapters, syringe nozzle adapters. You'll be able to pick them up from there. Just be prepared. Maybe some gloves uh, might be useful as well. And that's it. That's how you swap the ink out on this version of the Eco Tank printer. And thanks for watching.